the bark squats at the bottom, and then hit the top. We used a uh, neon transformer, which is that gray box. All you see is on the switch up top, uh, which produces 7,000 volts. And I gotta take this globe off. But there's two copper rods on the inside and they're shaped like a V, all right? So this is, air isn't exactly the best conductor of electricity until you get higher voltages. And then it actually becomes a fairly decent conductor of electricity, hence the reason we have lightning. Little chairs over there, there you go. So the resistance, because we have a V-shape, the arc squats at the bottom, and then it's ionizing the air. That arc that you see is literally just a little lightning bolt that's coming across, and it's hot. Heat must rise, right? So it pushes it towards the top where it snaps and it breaks. But every time it breaks, you see it resets down at the bottom. They have to lose resistance. So that's all that's happening there. I'm gonna get a little finicky. If I let it go long enough, you'll start to smell ozone. <laughs> 